So I, I don't like to keep bringing it up. Maybe I do. But I completed getting over it yesterday. Everyone clap. Everyone clap. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm just really proud of myself. <laughs> but in that video yesterday, I mentioned about all these fake getting over it clone games that have appeared on the App Store online and... I think they look pretty funny. I think it's a given that they're probably gonna be pretty terrible, but that's why we're gonna play them today. I've only come across a few of them when searching for other getting over it related stuff, but I haven't played any of them, so let's go. Oh no, on another note, there's a scream chicken too. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so let's search getting over it. There you go. I don't actually know if there's an Android version. There is an official iPhone version of the game. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Person box hammer jump? <laughs> That's a million downloads. Guys, you've got to be kidding me. We have to download this. It's got like, it's got loads of one star ratings, but good five stars as well. Oh, look, there's other ones as well. Climby hammer. <laughs> this is the one I've come across before, but um, oh dude, this looks like, this is like a double ripoff. This is Crossy Road and Getting Over It combined. That's insane. I'm pretty sure this isn't the people that make Crossy Road. This one has pretty good ratings though. <laughs> what even is that? <laughs> getting Over It with Mr. Monkey? Um, sure. Let's play that one too. Look how many there are. None of these are official, by the way, because there isn't an Android version. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, nope, no, I didn't steal this image. I swear. Person box is ready, but it really wants me to, um, it really wants to know my location. I'm gonna deny. I'm sorry. You want to access my photos, media, and files? I don't think so. Sorry. I am excited to play this. Here we go. <laughs> Choose level. There's only one. Oh, wait a second. Here we go. This is, oh, this is awkward. So this is person box. It's so bad to control. You can't even pogo. You just need to keep on going round, and round, and round. <laughs> I was thinking how on earth do you control it without a mouse, but I guess it's answered my question and it's pretty, um, it's pretty simple. <laughs> you can't even like, you can't even throw yourself. It's, it's insane. And why is Tony wearing a suit? I mean, we probably shouldn't call him Tony. Fake Tony's wearing a suit and sunglasses as well, and his hammer is absolutely huge. To be honest, though, this isn't actually that difficult at all. I'm just kind of just, I'm just completing it. Well, this guy's reach is far. And look at that modern fridge. Are you kidding me? Tony didn't experience any kind of fridge. The fridge on getting over it is the rustiest thing I've ever seen. Here we go. I wonder how far we can get on this, because it said level one. I wonder if there's more. Remember, guys, this is called person box. This is, um, what's happening now? Is that the edge? Did I go the wrong way? How did I go the wrong way? Oh my goodness, how did you get into this situation, sir? I thought Tony's situation was weird, but this one, this one's a little bit weirder because you're inside a cardboard box with a mallet and a suit in the desert surrounded by random objects. I mean, what is going on? Oh, I have to get over there? Oh, no! But I'm pretty sure I cannot pogo. No, 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 stop this. Stop this. I can't. I can't reach it! Oh, dude, there's a shop. Oh, no, I got three coins. I don't know how I got these coins, but look at all these hats. There's a- there's a paper bag. <laughs> I can't- I can't do it. I can't do it. It's just frustrating me. I mean, that's the goal of getting over it, right? But this one is- this one's impossible. I can't- Pogo! I can't! Get out of my sight! I can't believe that has a million downloads. That's insane. Climby Hammer would also like to access my files. No. Use your hammer to maneuver around the course. Touch inside the circle to position your hammer. Hey, this one actually looks- this one actually looks pretty cool. I like the style of it, but it's still a ripoff. <laughs> Get over obstacles by hooking them and pulling yourself up. I mean, I'm pretty well versed in this, so you don't need to give me a tutorial. Push your hammer up quickly and to pogo jump! Yeah! I've gone into a portal. That's new. It wants me to choose a username. T-O-N-Y. I'm Tony. Play more courses or build your own. That's actually, uh, that's actually a pretty good idea. Oh, dude, look, you can get different characters. There's a runner, a biker, a thief. Dude, there's loads of people. The riot police, a luchador, what? A punk? <laughs> a, oh, th this is actually a really cool idea. I like this. Yo, is that a diamond crown? That's insane. Right, let's go random. I'm guessing this is all user created then. Yeah, the pool's over there and... We've, we've fallen already. Are we dead? I think we've already died. <laughs> no! Help me. Okay, here we go. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it! 
Ah! Ah! Okay, grab it. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Yes! <laughs> I'm not dying today, sir. So can you, like, properly pogo on this? I mean, kind of. But you also can't really get your hammer around the other side after you pogo. Not that- Oh, you can! So if I pogo and then tap the top- No! Don't go that way! Yes! <laughs> this is so hard to control on a tablet, I can't even begin to tell you. What is wrong with this guy's arms? Look at them, they're all detached and gross. Right, pogo and then tap up there. Yes! That's better. So this guy is in a wooden box. With a mallet. Um, and this is a house. Okay. This house is just floating in midair. <laughs> oh, man. These games. I feel like things are about to get more difficult. Actually, maybe not. I thought we were going to have to go up to the top right then. But it's okay. We're fine. We're good. Is that a... Is this a helicopter? That looks like a helicopter to me. That's that's cool. Okay, this bit is appearing to be problematic for me. It's really hard to get like, what are you doing, sir? Stop bouncing around. He's trying to get out of his crate. I'm not allowing you out of your crate. Come on, just get over the tree! Oh! It's just a tree. It's just a tree. You can do it. Why are you freaking out so much? It's just- No! Oh! Ah, there we go. There we go. Don't mess it up now. Just be chill. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. The person who did it in first did it in 25 seconds. It's crazy. Oh, no. Oh, we have to go up here. How do you do this in 25 seconds? This is like a whole new control scheme. Okay, we need to pogo and grab. Pogo and grab. Oh, that was close. If you thought the normal getting over it controls were like hard to get used to, this is a whole new level of thumb technique. I feel like if I swing this around too fast, I'm going to get thumb burn, which is definitely something I do not want. But yeah, the physics are nowhere near the same. It's so infuriating. And I've got a clone with a monkey in it in a second, so... So if I don't complete this quick, I'm going straight over to that game. Oh! Oh! Oh, don't freak out. Don't freak out, this is fine. This is absolutely fine. Yes! <laughs> I still get the same kind of sense of accomplishment, even though this is like a... It's an okay port of the game. When you get over a hard bit, you're still like, yes, my life is complete. When really all you've done is a tiny little bit in a bigger level. Is the portal nearby? Yes, it is. That's what I'm talking about. Four minutes, 29. That's four minutes and four seconds slower than the quicker time. You can earn medals to complete in clan wars now. That's just overcomplicating things, isn't it? I got some diamonds, though. I don't know what that means, but I'm happy about it. Wait, so it just keeps giving you different levels over and over again? Hey, that's kind of cool. Because sometimes these clone games, they are obviously just... They, they're just clones of really popular games, which is kind of just a little bit annoying, especially for the developer who's worked really hard on, a, like, a unique concept, and then these people just copy it. But sometimes they give great ideas, like being able to create your own levels and stuff. This is like Happy Wheels meets Getting Over It, which... Definitely would be popular. This is just the tank level. Someone's done this in four seconds. Are you kidding me? This aerial is like a, a, a piece that needs to go. Oh, okay. Okay, I feel like I'm getting a little bit better now. Yes, get it. Get it. Get to the finish. Yes, that was a difficulty of one. Still took me way too long. And this is called a venomous course. I'm not sure this is venomous. Come on, buddy, we've got this. Let's go as fast as we can. Someone's done it in three seconds. We've already lost, but we can try. We can at least try. There we go. There we go. That's a big nine seconds. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Get over the top. Get over the top. Yes, we went over the portal. <laughs> Tony's got himself a big 16 seconds. How does someone do that in three? There must be some secret thumb finger technique to this. Are you sure you want to quit? You'll lose your streak. It's bribing me to play the game. And now the game is broken. Oh dear. So I have no other option but to get to getting over it with a monkey. <laughs> why would getting over it with a monkey want to make and manage phone calls? This is why I download these apps to warn you guys to deny this all the time. This is, this is weird. I don't need an app involving a monkey getting over a mountain of random objects to make phone calls. No. What's wrong with you? Getting over it. We <laughs> missed the monkey. <laughs> oh. My. Goodness, what is this? I like the music though. I like the addition of that, but this is freaking me out a little bit. Look at his arms. Why is he wearing sunglasses? This guy is weird. I mean, this is a unique way of interpreting the idea of getting over it. 
But I almost find this weirder than a half-naked man in a cauldron, and I'm not really sure why. And the music stopped already. I guess they didn't plan on you playing it for longer than, like, 30 seconds. I just want to go over this cactus. Yes! <laughs> Come on, Mr. Monkey. Let's go. You've got the arms long enough for the job, but you're not really going anywhere fast. Just controlling this on a tablet is unreal, guys. Literally unreal. How on earth am I gonna get over this tree? This monkey doesn't even grab properly. You need to put some spikes on those knuckles, punk. And he just randomly slides around as well. I'm not pressing anything and he's- he's off. He's going backwards. He doesn't care at all. See- see you later, buddy. And the music comes back on. <laughs> it's uh, it sounds like Despacito. What's going on here? Oh! Oh! Oh, I thought I was making progress then. I'm not gonna lie to you. I am just flinging the, uh, I'm just flinging the wheel around in circles just to see what happens. Oh, that was big. That was big. What a jump. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Are you gonna slide down this as well? Is that what's gonna happen here? You can't do the old jumping thing because he hasn't got claws on his hands and he hasn't got the edge of a mallet. Oh! Oh! Oh, your boy's done it. Your boy's done it. I don't know how he did it, but he's done it! Jeez! <laughs> oh my goodness, this is insane. This is actually insane. Come on, monkey boy. Let's go. Why are you wearing shorts? What's the story here? What is the story? Has he escaped from a zoo? Does he just want to be a regular human being? I think he does. He's wearing the shorts. He's got a pretty nice vest on as well. This is just impossible. This is properly impossible. And here comes the music again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Tony! <laughs> oh, Tony, what happened to you? You've got your, like, cartoony self. You've got gloves on as well. And your head is, is real shiny. And this version of Tony, I'm not quite sure what to say. I am shocked. I've just realized they spelled over in getting over it wrong as well. <laughs> oh my goodness. Tony! Tony, what are you doing? <laughs> what just happened? What is this? Actually, what is this? How do I- I can't even play! It won't even let me tap! Oh, is it this button? This isn't getting over it at all. This is just a bad version of Flappy Bird. No, I do not want to play Cat Simulator. You just press this one triangle to try and get over the boxes. And even if you tap it, it just kills you. <laughs> I must admit, though, this has the um, the funniest looking Tony out of all of them. And I'm getting better. There we go. Yes, there's spikes as well, Tony. This is a new adventure for you, buddy. Oh, real spikes, not just the wooden ones. There's barbed wire as well. I wonder what other kind of adventures Tony's going to get up to next. Oh my goodness, TNT. <laughs> I kind of want to hit it, but I don't because I've got so far. Win! Yes! I won! Unlock, please. We're going to the dark forest. Let's hope Slenderman's not around. Otherwise, we're going to be in big trouble. Oh, there's plants. There's giant Tony eating plants. Oh my goodness. I am... I'm amazed. Tony, you've got a lot of things to experience in life, buddy. You thought it was just getting over random objects. Nope! You get over magical plants as well. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. I wanted him to be eaten alive. He just bounces off of it. Experience the best FPS hammer man. Get over this gaming experience. Well, uh, Tony, that cauldron is way too big for you, buddy. You can definitely just slip out of that one pretty easily. And there's no way you're getting through those gaps. So I'm not playing that one. <laughs> this one's a little bit different. I'm pretty sure that's not an in-game shot. It looks like they've added everything afterwards. <laughs> What's with the obsession of Tony becoming a secret agent? I mean, he looks pretty good, but that box is incredibly small. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. That's like, uh, that's like an evil Tony. Oh, that's, that's horrendous. <laughs> Look at these screens. What even is that? <laughs> His arms coming out of the cauldron like this. That's hilarious. But hey, you know what? Out of all of them, this one seems to be the closest that looks like uh, the original. The only thing is you can't really pogo and Tony's wearing a suit. Quite frankly, he's wearing too many clothes. Oh! Oh! Oh, your boy's done it! He's actually done it! Hey, there's the wardrobes <laughs> or chest of drawers, whatever you want to call them. Oh my goodness, no, there's no way I'm doing that. Let's just try it. Um, Tony? How did you do that? Here we go. Here we go. No, that didn't work. No! Okay, that's annoying. But you know what, guys? I think I'm gonna have to leave that there. That was a, um, a quick look into the world of fake getting over it apps. Now I can put this game down and leave it forever. I'm done. I got over it. 
Now, so can you. For real though, please be careful about these um, fake apps. You never know what they want to access on your device. Be very, very, very careful with them. I have downloaded them, so potentially you don't have to. As I mentioned, there is an official Getting Over It app on the App Store. There just isn't one out for Android right now. So go and check that one out. Play the one that's actually on Steam because... I don't know about you, but I don't feel like playing this game ever, even the real version, with a thumb pad. That's got to be impossible. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please do a big fat like. That would be greatly appreciated. If this is the first time you've watched me or you haven't done so yet, please do hit that subscribe button to join Team TDM today for daily videos. Thanks again for all the support on... Wow, it's bright. Thanks again for all the support on all of these Getting Over It videos. It has been a blast to create... Even though it's been frustrating at times. But I'm glad you enjoyed them. Have an amazing day. You're awesome. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.